Rohit comes in to Reid. Look at that defense. That's playing a high line. Putting the pressure on Rohit, who hasn't been at his very best. I know he's closing in on a milestone. 14 away from 600. Make that 13 now. All right. Now, if he gets that sniff, he'll convert that into that inch into many yards. He's capable of that. Rohit, the man with the finesse, fine poetry with powerful punches. So, two to nothing here for Bengaluru Bulls. Has he picked up a point? That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Mahindra Singh is, of course, the man who needs to go back. So, good to see the Raiders stepping up very early on. Shades of a high scoring encounter, perhaps. Or maybe they've learned some lessons from what Pardeep Narwal did last night. Team did not win, but uh, Areda finally has reached 900 weight points. Nice to see Bahubali Steinwell. Bengaluru Bulls will be in a do or die raid situation. Pavan Serawat, one against six. You would fancy Pavan Serawat. Bonus is also available, but equally, watch out for Abuzar Megani. Watch out for Vishal Bardwaj. Farad Milagar then went for it, but Pavan is the winner. Excellent effort. He's actually asking for two. Now what he does is, Farad comes, he turns, creates a new opportunity for himself, he uses the lobbies brilliantly. He's willful, he's skillful. Now, here comes Rohit. He's taken it on himself, he stepped out. Stepped out already, much before the tackle, well spotted RK. You, you first out, seven number, seven number out. Last time seven around, number. last time around, he was so close to getting out. Now, this is interesting. The minute you're self out, I don't think Vishal Bharadwaj, let's clarify this rule for you. If you're self out, you straight away need to get out of the map, which is why the officials stopped right then 21 14 in favor of Bengaluru Bulls. One of the big stories that we were concentrating on is the fact that whether Bengaluru Bulls without Pavan Saravat's contribution can get across and pick a few points. Rohit will have to be the favorite. See Arun on one side, Amit on another. Oh, yes, it's going to be Rohit. It's going to be Rohit. No issues whatsoever. It was quite neck and neck in the first half, agreed. But the second half, the Bulls are just marauding their opponents here. Rohit Kumar coming back to form is seriously sad news, not just for Telugu Titans, but for the other teams in the competition as well. Because before this day, he was thinking, if Pavan Sharawa doesn't perform, Bulls can't do anything. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He has had his best first half thus far this season, is Siddharth Desai. He's got a bonus. Is he out as well? Ooh, he's been slammed down. He's been slammed down. But I want to see that replay again. Was one of the defenders out of bounds? But I don't think they're going to worry about it at all, are the officials. So, just one point for that bonus. There you go. That was how close the left corner was. I think Rohit managed very well. He just made sure that he pulled him back in time. Otherwise, he was losing balance. Bonus is available here. What a champion performer. He's picked up six raid points already. Oh, he's gone through that defense. Is that a super raid? That could be a super raid, you know. Paman Serawat turns it on. Yes, he knows when to turn it around. What an absolute champion. Paman Serawat is. Pawan Sharawat and Pardeep Narwal in season two were together with the Bulls. That is quite a stylish bit of defending for the Bengaluru Bulls, and that is super tackle, fetches you two points and one revival. So that should be it, actually. Bengaluru Bulls, plenty of positives. The question that we asked, the big story was what if Pavan Serawat doesn't pick up any points or enough number of points? Well, the answer is he has picked up points, but add to that the fact the biggest plus to come out is Rohit Kumar is back amongst the points as well. He's picked up seven trade points, and considering the start he has had this season, this is one of his better games.